You know, look, he's been a, he's been a, a good major league player. He's been a defensive guy. That's what he's been known for his love. His, his offense hasn't come through. So how in the world, Alex, do you explain what he has given the Yankees this year? You know, he has the clutch gene. And, you know, when somebody goes down, it's somebody else's opportunity. And, and what's interesting about the Yankees, KB, is, is their depth incredible. Who would have thought that their best three players right now would be uh, Ursula, Luke DJ Lemieux, Voigt, and Luke Voigt? Yeah. I mean, that it tells you the breadth in their roster. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I had a chance to be around Gio Urshela early, early in his career at Cleveland, and we always knew he could pick it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that wasn't the problem. The problem was with his bat, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. I think he's doing such a great job for himself right now, and like you're saying, with Andahar down for the entire season, mm -hmm. you needed someone to step up. Right now, I think he's staying within himself. He's hitting the balls to all fields. He's not necessarily, hit, necessar not necessarily hitting 100 home runs right now, Don't but he's to. yeah, but he's putting the ball in play, and he's giving the Yankees quality at bats. And that lineup, that locker room, man, regardless of who's on that field, these guys expect to win. And this was a huge win. Even though it was in Yankee Stadium, they beat the teeth of their power as far as the bullpen. They got Alvarado, who hasn't been touched ever. It's been nasty. Voight with a big home run, yep. and then they're able to put together some good at-bats. So that's impressive, especially going up against the Rays, because that's the teeth, and that's how they're going to win. Keep the ball game close. Torino's did a heck of a job keeping the Yankees at bay and shutting it down and playing the game close. So that's Tampa Bay Rays game. So yeah. uh, that's a big win for them. I thought they're going to get two out of three, yeah, so you guys got me, but uh, hey, fellas, we'll see. Train, what, one of the things is, I mean, this is rich people's problems. I mean, the issue for Brian Cashman, the general manager, and Aaron Boone is what do we do when all the big fellas get back? They're playing right. better than 600 baseball, sometimes 700 baseball. Yeah. What do you do? It's a little dangerous because you don't want to get in front of a ta uh, of the great momentum they've built so far. Uh, I tell you what, though, if you coming back, we got to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the bottom line. And that's, that's the cold New York yeah. heart truth what about it. It's like, yeah, you got to pass that torch. Good job, but uh, yeah, no, we got a Rod and Teixeira coming see, back. That's, yeah, that's a lot of real estate coming you back. You know how much money they have invested in all these players right, right now. When Giancarlo comes down, regardless of how good Cameron and Maven mm -hmm. has been, he's got to go, that's right. right? I mean, just these guys have so many of their players that they... But let me ask you a question. Be there all if year. you're playing 800 baseball and Stanton comes back, do you divorce everything that's happened? Do you put it to bed and put Stanton back in? Well, there's a reason why he's making 325. I didn't ask you that. Right? I said if you come back, I, 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 I think he's one of my guys. He's back in the okay. lineup immediately okay. because that's the guy that I'm going to roll with. I, I, guess, danger, I guess that's right? a good problem to have, though, right? Yeah, I mean, right. it's a decision, but it's a good problem to have because their guys who weren't expected to play are driven them to first place. That's where they are mm -hmm. right now. So the Astros have a 10-game win streak and a 9-game win streak this year. They are they are a freight train right now. And I'm curious. This may be weird to say because the Red Sox are the World Series champs train, but... You know, do you think this is an important series for them confidence-wise? They've been playing great, but they haven't been playing good teams until tonight. For both clubs, it's important. This is a postseason preview right here. You see the energy. You see it was both well-pitched ball games by both sides. I'm concerned about the Red Sox, though, because they're not going against slouches. They struck out 12 times, and this is the type of arm you're going to face in the postseason if you want to repeat. This is a message-sending series right here where you say, hey, we're still the top dog, and the championship comes through ball. Boston. But H-Town ain't playing, and they, and they hungry, around. and they got some rings and things over there as well. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun series. I think it's going to be a battle. I think they're going to be hard-fought, close, low-scoring games because you're going to see some powerful arms come out of both sides. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it. I think that, you know, you got to remember, this is still the middle of May, right? And we're putting a lot of emphasis on this series, but there is. I mean, this is kind of one of those series that is circled, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a chance for both teams. The fans know it's a big series. The players know it's a big series. Uh, I think right now, with the way that Boston started off, if they have a great series against a contender like the Astros. This legitimizes them. Get, this gives them that boost in the locker room. And even though they lost a tough game tonight, they'll be back tomorrow, no doubt about it. And look, I mean, when you win a championship, it's interesting. We have back-to-back -back world champs here, and they're in different places, but they're both playing really, really well. What I like about when you win the championship, and we know this in 2010, Swish, Opening day, you got to move it up to May 15th. And I thought today is around the time where you, these guys are starting to look like the hangover is over. Right. But the Astros, I got to tell you something. The Astros, we've said they have four players. When you think about Bregman, Altuve, Carlos Correa, and now George Springer. Top four hitters. All four. At some point, we've said they're playing like the best player. They're playing like the MVP. They are a powerhouse. And on top of that, D-Train, number one, Verlander, and then Cole, they are a handful. And like you said, best bullpen in the game. Best team in the game right now? 
Oh, no question about it. Uh, watch out yeah. for Corbin Martin. This rookie, they have going hey, tomorrow. Hey, on this kid. Listen, Love this kid, kid can pitch, and he can tip the scale for him. He can elongate that rotation. Watch it. I'm hey, excited for tomorrow. Hey, that's a good segue. You know why? Because that's on our air tomorrow. It's on Fox <laughs> tomorrow. And we will be here for that after the Red Sox. Well done, Trey. Boom. Thank you. Practice that the whole night. 